I like to use Facebook for retargeting for SaaS companies. Again, we're just talking about SaaS companies, um, especially if your budget's low and you're focused on organic growth. Um, use Facebook ads for retargeting, meaning uh, let them go ahead and get to your website from a PR campaign, uh, from questions you answer on Quora, from your product hunt, uh, from organic search. Let them get to your site there. So you got that first brand impression across. They didn't convert. They bounced. 95% of your traffic plus will. No worries. Go ahead and create audiences in Facebook and retarget them strategically, of course. Um, now, what do I mean by strategically? You don't just want to throw everybody into one bucket and serve them the same ads. What I like to do is not only split up retargeting by pages they've visited and the types of content on those pages, but also by uh, time frame. So when you're a SaaS company, you have your typical uh, demo to close time frame or your typical traffic to demo time frame. That time frame is a perfect opportunity for you to serve different types of ads at each stage in that time frame. So the beginning stage is as soon as they bounce off your site, you want to hit them with feature um, examples. Um, ways in which your product is being used, uh, meaning integrations, what your product is best for. Remind them how your tool can be used. That's days zero through three when they bounce from your site, again, for the SaaS use case. Now, days four through 10, this is just example, it'll change depending on your use case and your industry, et cetera. But days four through 10, uh, they have not converted. They have not scheduled a demo. They have not closed yet. Serve them case studies, client testimonials. Remind them why people use your tool. If you have a Gartner quadrant that you rank high on, if you have um, good reviews, show them those. Um, now you have days 11 through 30. And these are all the people that are really getting cold. They have not entered your CRM. They have not closed. They have not scheduled a demo. Serve these people an offer at this point. Um, serve them something to just tell them, hey, it's super easy to get involved and we can be valuable right now without you actually paying us any money. And here's how. Um, these are the people, again, that are cold. They've maybe tried other software at this point, um, but uh, hopefully you can still get them back in. But uh, uh, you want to serve them something super valuable at that point. Now, how do you serve these ads? Uh, you can use a platform that'll push multiple types of retargeting campaigns to multiple platforms like AdRoll, it's a great platform for retargeting, or you can upload directly to Facebook. Now, audiences are the most important. Um, this is where you do not wanna stop at just creating URL-based audiences, meaning um, audience A landed on you know this blog post, but did not land on the pricing page, or they landed on some, some part of your platform or part of your funnel, uh, but they did not schedule a demo. Um, by URL, right? That's great. Uh, but you want to take it a step further and go ahead and integrate your CRM. And we'll talk about that in a second so that you can accurately pull and push people in and out of audiences, um, not just based on what URLs they visited. Now, creatives, what you want to do, uh, especially if you're a SaaS company, is you want to show the product in use. This is super important. And I stress this to all of my clients. You want to show screencasts of the product in use with your face, meaning the founder, ideally, uh, but at least one of the people in the company, higher up in the company, showcasing the product, right? Um, how they're using it, showcase a specific use case to that specific audience. So you have your audiences segmented, um, create a nice screencast. This gives them a good feel of how it is using your products. Um, and also, if your face is on that screencast, it will build trust and credibility with your product. So continue serving those good brand impressions using screencasts. Um, try messenger ads. You know, let's do our episode about how you deploy bots in messenger ads to kind of warm them up and convert them 24 hours a day using really good conversation. Um, if you have intercom, a lot of you SaaS companies will have intercom, should have intercom in my opinion, is you can say intercom, anybody that comes onto the site and the URL includes the parameter campaign equals blank or source equals blank serve them this specific message. And that way you can actually hyper target people that click on specific campaigns and talk to them as if you really know who they are. This is very important. So a good example of that is since this is Facebook ads, um, you have a messenger ad, right? The messenger ad deploys a specific message to them. 
that talks about the use case of that cam campaign, something they're doing. Now, in the Messenger ad, you have the ability to insert a button and a URL. You add the UTM parameters for campaign source equals Messenger ad, uh, campaign, content, medium, et cetera. Split that up and then you go into intercom and you actually create a new campaign in intercom, a new message, visitor message in intercom that deploys only to people that meet that specific UTM parameter. And that message is something like, welcome back, John. Uh, sorry to drag you off Facebook, but I have something very important to show you. I don't want to give you this this today. It's a free ebook on this, or it's a free report on this, or it's a free synopsis of this. And you know that person's in that specific industry. Um, obviously, you know they came from Facebook, and uh, you want to really dive in deep with the targeting and um, create that really one-to-one -one experience, which we talk about a lot on the podcast. So now that you have creatives, you've got your hows and twos and whys uh, for SaaS, B2B, Facebook ads. Now the boring stuff, but the essential stuff, setting up your CRM to make sure you're pushing and pulling people in and out of Facebook audiences based on what they're doing in your CRM. Uh, this is incredibly underutilized, and I don't know why at this day and age, but connect your face, uh, sorry, connect your CRM to Facebook. Facebook lets you target people that are specific stages in your CRM. Um, it's critical to optimizing your campaigns, especially at scale to make sure um, you are not basically wasting money and having campaigns that are retargeting people that have already scheduled a demo or are super cold and no longer interested in your product. Um, uh, using URLs, like I mentioned, like demo page, and, but not demo success page is just not enough anymore. Um, so connect your CRM. Now, how do you do that? Uh, there are two products in particular that uh, I want to mention. Uh, product number one is Leads Bridge. Leads Bridge is a great product. Uh, here is their custom audiences sync page. So this, and we'll link to this, it, it talks all about why and how of uh, connecting your CRMs. Here's all the CRMs that you can connect. Um, Salesforce, obviously HubSpot, Intercom, all that good stuff. So connect those. So a good use case here, Intercom's on here. Um, you not just, you don't only want to pull people out of campaigns that uh, committed to a demo and sit in your CRM, but you may have Intercom and they may be in a chat in Intercom, an actual chat with somebody. You don't want to retarget people that are in active conversations with people in Intercom. So connect Intercom, pull people out of your campaigns using LeadsBridge. The next one is DriftRock. DriftRock does a whole lot of stuff. One of the things it does is Facebook leads ad sync, same kind of thing as LeadsBridge, pull people in and out of campaigns dynamically uh, using this integration um, and check out DriftRock, highly recommend it if you can afford it. Um, now, these platforms allow you to do really awesome downstream analytics and push that data back into Facebook and leverage that data to make sure your uh, campaigns are hyper-targeted. So can't stress that enough. And um, that'll wrap up my section. I'll hand it back off to Nola. He's going to wrap up with just uh, three best practices and uh, what to do tactically for B2B marketing using Facebook. Ads. So back to you.